guess. Well, it was a 3 2 pitch. Left center field is going to catch the gap. Berenger's already rounding first and is going to be in. Stand out double. Blaze deals. Swung on and sky to left. Coke angles toward the foul line. Not in, but not before the Cats score two runs off of three hits. One. And after an inning, it's Arizona 2 and Stanford nothing. Opportunity 571 is the 1-1 one, one pitch. is pulled to the right side, angling to her left. Skaggs has to try to hurry to grab that and flip. Instead, it's going to carry him off of the glove and feels awfully infield hit. As this one swinging at the first pitch, sending it to left. Kennedy in foul territory, hauls it in, threatening to tag. But a great job again by Kennedy to hustle it back into the infield. Mailer is retired. And still at first now with one out. Two strike pitches as the 2-2 two -two pitch is sewn on and sent to Beal. At, oh, just to the left side, she is able to come to a knee and get that one over to second just in time to get the speedy Jones. As now there's two away, still a runner at first. And first pitch swinging and putting that one into short center. Base hit for Chan, trying to extend this all the way to third. A great throw from Shockey. Stanford's... Coaching staff thinks that the wrong call has been made. I think the initial call is out, but let's see if it stands. Arizona's off the field defensively. I got a hunch that this is going to be a pretty quick one because either the throw and tag were applied as it looked as if that happened in room two. Battled back 3-2 before she was able to bang one and get on to center, second. 3-2 is this time. Bang toward left center field and it's going to catch the wall. Takes an awkward carom, forcing Jones to come back toward the infield to gather it in and allow Shep. And now Beal shows bunt, pulls it to the right side. It's going to be a very tough play as she's already safe. Hurrying this one back toward the circle as Shep. That one wasn't very loud. That was more of a Conventional fly balls. The 2 0 pitch is slapped to the left side and it's going to get over everybody's head. In comes Shep. Over to second goes Beals. Paris Chica has an infield hit, and the Wildcats have a 3 0 lead. Here in the early going, already leading 3 0 in the bottom of the second. The 3 0. Swung on and sent towards center field and in for a base hit. One run comes in. Stop signs put up for Paris Chica. As Kennedy keeps the hitting going. The Cats with four consecutive hits. The last three of the single variety, but it gives it a 4 nothing lead. And there's Kennedy able to make her pay. And here's Shockey. Shows bunt and then tries to slap. Gets back of Kaneshiro. It's only going to allow Kennedy to advance to second. So second time here that Ali Kanashiro has had a lean field to score Shep. First pitch now swung on and hit toward left center field, and that's going to catch the gap. Donardo's got her second extra base hit as two runs come in. Going to throw this one toward third as the Wildcats have now taken a 6-0 edge. Donardo homered home two runs in the first. Doubles home two runs here in the second. It's the Cats pitch. Outside for ball four. You're way ahead as the 3-1 pitch is swung on and belted towards center field. And that is going to be stopped before it catches the gap by Jones. He's going to try to hurry that one to third base, but it's going to be a stand-up double. Four Behringers, the Wildcats put on a fifth and now make it seven to nothing here in the second. Zona, the 0-2 to Shep. Chopped to the left side. Gloved by Mel, and she's not able to hang on to it as Mailer threw it over to Gall well, but it come bouncing out of the glove. Should be E3. After allowing the inning to extend his goal, as this one swung on and hit well to center, but drifting back, Jones is going to get underneath it, and that will end the inning, but not before the Wildcats score six runs on a bunch of hits, get a couple of walks and an error. And now after two, lead 8-0. It's knocked in four. The 2-2 two -two 
This is it to Ward left field. Kennedy with another long run. This one's going to drop in front of her and in fair territory. So a leadoff double after Silva again got ahead 0-2, gathered in by Skaggs. As the first pitch is swung on and belted to right field and gone. So the magic number of eight is no more. Ava Gall's two-run homer swinging at the first pitch after losing the battle to Kern. Silva, Kenishiro hitting 280. She sends this one to the left side and is going to find a way over Behringer's glove and into left field for a base hit. So after the Wildcats start the second inning, Jones with good speed, Berenger cognizant. She's creeping up the third baseline as the 3-1 pitch is high. Holding the bat high, swings at the first pitch and sends this high to straightaway center field. Shockey's underneath it and the Wildcats are able to keep the Cardinals with just two runs off of three hits, stranding two runners and after two and a half, it's Arizona eight against Washington and 0 for 1 against Oregon State prior to that as she drops down a bunt but it's going to be in the batter's box and foul. So now down in the count 0 and 2. The senior from La Quinta. The 1 2. Slap to the right side. Big hop for Kern if she's able to get it over to first in time to get the first out. So shows a bunt, drops this one down in front of the circle and into right field after the throw is going to pull Kern into play. Kennedy already rounding second. Now coming to third where she's going to be held up there after that throw went all the way into the corner. Denardo with a really sharp eye with two strikes. So now a 2-2 pitch on the way as she pulls this one to the right side. Head by Kern. And over to first, first time that the Wildcats are denied, pitch to Lim. Lead off walk. Again with a six run lead, the 3-0. Takes high, four pitch walk. Having a hard time setting her down as she readies another two strike pitch. This one sent high back a second. Shockey started back, now able to come in on it. The Wildcats have the first out, but now here comes Gall. Kern took a tough 3-1 pitch to make it full and then ultimately flew out to center. The 2-0 now is swung on and hit ripped into right field, but right at Paris Chica, able to catch it on the line, then hustle it. She's trying to preserve a six-run lead. The 0-2 pitch pulled to the left side and into left field. Kennedy with the gun is going to bring that quickly back in toward the circle. And the Cardinal will settle for a two-out single to load the bases. The 1-0. Swung on and hit high and deep to left field. Kennedy back and in foul territory able to gather. And the side is retired. No runs, one hit. Bases are left loaded. Low and inside for ball four. Second time that Skaggs walks after the Cats start Stanford's half of the fourth here in the bottom of the fourth. The 1-0. Slap to the left. Big hop had by Mailer. Goes to second for one, but that's all. Two against Scoopin. Pulled toward right field, and a diving grab will keep that one from it falling and advancing as Chan is able to lay it out and keep the lead 8-2. to two. As here's Shep seeing Chung for the second time. As that one bounces at the plate and skips away again from Kanashiro. That was a tough one to handle and should be a wild pitch. Matters to the plate in the second, and that one's pulled into left field for a base hit. Behringer's being waved home, and then Koch can't get a handle on it. Pulls this one, fair. Down the right field line, rattling around in the corner is Sheps being waved around third. No throw to the plate, is in with a stand-up triple is Beal.
So Shep does get an RBI on her base hit. The Wildcats back out to an eight-run lead. And I think Stanford wants to check and make sure that that is a fair ball. Continuing to creep up the third base side. And the 3-1 as she brings the bat back, slaps to the left side, gloved by Mailer over in time to retire the side, but not before Arizona scores two more off of two hits. And so ready, another payoff pitch. High, ball four, fifth walk. And so she's one of the five walks. She also had an infield hit in the second. Swings at the first, and that sends into center field. So just as had happened in the... the door here and a payoff pitch on the way to the leadoff hitting Kern. She checks her swing and that wasn't a good pitch. As the bases are again full of Cardinal players as had happened in the fourth. The 1-0 chopped in front of the plate grabbed by Shep and over in time to retire the side but not before Stanford scores one run for the second time in as many innings. The corner infielders even with the bag, likewise the middle. And this one swung on and hit high, deep to left field. Back on it is Coke, but it's gone. So perhaps it takes a little longer than they would have liked, but the Wildcats do exact walk-off revenge in a run-ruling fashion. And we'll now even up the series after an 11-3 win, and we'll get to try to take it tomorrow in a late start that we'll start setting up for you right after this. It's Arizona softball on their field. Annual screening mammograms at age 40? And why is it so important to have one every year? Fact, your breast cancer risk increases substantially when you turn 40. Another fact, three... I have three and a half here, three and a half.